Welcome to TFA Talking Point. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your support. If you are an Amazonian or a Southern Cameroonian, I'm pleading with you to listen to this message right to the end because this is a bitter truth about what is happening in Southern Cameroon. I know the Amazonian, Southern Cameroonians, they have struggled by all possible means and they have done and tried their best in order to free themselves, in order to have liberty and in order to end marginalization, oppression and repression against them by the government of President Pobia, by the government of Cameroon. I know this. And I am with all Southern Cameroonians because I am a Southern Cameroonian. I, I am not feeling any better than any Southern Cameroonians. And that is why I am coming with this videos with this message today that southern cameroon is a piece of land filled with a lot of natural resources a land blessed by god with all the resources a rich country can boast of and the colonial master the united nation organization france Amadou Ahijo, President Pobia, and many others don't want this particular group of people to be together. They don't want this particular group of people to unite together and they keep on causing hatred and hatred, dividing us and manipulating us with a division. And today I am here with this message. And the first message is going to the Amazonia. Because when I talk about the Amazonia, because not all Southern Cameroonians are Amazonia. There are some Southern Cameroonians that believe in federation. There are some Southern Cameroonians that believe in, in nothing. And then the, the group of Amazonia, they are the ones that believe in separation from the Republic of Cameroon. First thing, I'm going to say congratulations. Because when you people came in 2017, the Amazonia in 2017 came into the struggle in 2017. With kind, some kind of force and some kind of strategy. That you people came and discovered that the only language the government of Cameroon can understand is violence. And you people came with the violence and you people gave them the violence. In 2017, nearly all Southern Cameroonians were behind the Amazonia. Supported and with material and with every little thing. And then along the way, in 2018, the government of Cameroon from, decided to look for another strategy. While the military were fighting, the Amazonian fighters, the government, they were behind manipulating some Southern Cameroonians against Amazonia. And that manipulation, they succeeded in it and they break down and caused division amongst Amazonia. And Amazonia today is separated and divided into many different groups. And when that division started, I presented a video and I talk about it, that it is time for Amazonia, all of them, to stop the violence and think of a different strategy in order to achieve their ends. Nobody listen to it. I say, whenever you are fighting, even you are fighting with somebody and you discover that you are not going anywhere, the strategy you are using, you are instead inflicting pains on yourself than on your opponent, you have to stop. You have to look, if there is no way, if the person is overtaking you, you have to look for a neutral person that, oh, you fight and be going where people are so that they can separate the fight for you to think and think of different strategy. When the government started, in, it came in, in 2017 to fight Amazonia violently, militarily. They discovered that the Amazonia were too strong and then they were defeated militarily immediately. So the government withdraw some of the government officials, they think of different strategy. And that different strategy was to cause confusions amongst Amazonia. And that confusion worked. And they succeeded to divide Amazonia. And that division is behind the downfall of Amazonia today. And then I keep on in several of my videos calling on Amazonia to stop the fighting. 
Stop it. Do not think about the consequences. Do not think where the, 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 the soldiers will go. Do not think of what will happen. Because one day the world will end. And when it will end, it will end suddenly. Or if they defeat you, something must happen. I even presented a video telling Amazonia to think of ways to take out all Amazonia fighters out of Cameroon to different countries. And those who cannot go out of Cameroon should go to DDR center. They will not be changed from being Southern Cameroonian or Amazonia because Amazonia is already an ideology. And even those at DDR center, they are just buying their head. And one day, if we stand up again at Southern Cameroonia, they will still be behind us to fight. Because the marginalization, if the system in Cameroon does not change, they will not enjoy any better life. And they will still be angry within them. I presented a video on that. If you can stop it and look for a way to take out all Ambazonia fighters, work with the United Nations Organization, work with human rights organization, so that you people can negotiate together, so that all Ambazonia fighters should be taken out, either to Nigeria in the refugee camp or in other countries in the world. So that they can believe in that. So that you, the Amazonian leaders now, will think of what strategy can you take in order to achieve. Because I make a video that talk about, if you people stop and take it in a diplomatic way, you will achieve something from it. Because Southern Cameroon is the only territory. Southern Cameroon, British Southern Cameroon and British Northern Cameroon is the only territory that the United Nations Trustee Council allowed to go. To achieve independence by joining others. There is no other one. And then if you fight a, an appeal, all Southern Cameroonians, more than 8, 8 million Southern Cameroonians, all of them decided to say, we are going to write a letter and disturb all United Nations representatives or offices all over the world. That within one month they have more than 5,000, 1 million appeal, uh, appeal letter from Southern Cameroonians. It will be a call for consent. And they will look into that matter. And something can come out from there. And even if we want to join, they want to join us with the Republic of Cameroon, we will have our sovereignty. We will have our, our own power. In which if we gain that power and then decided that, okay, we have a federation, which is two-state federation, as it was at the beginning, we have the right to train our own army. We have the right to train our own police. In that training like that, we are training and feeling them with that mentality, with that Amazonian ideology. So that one day, when we believe that we are strong enough, we will just stand up, up suddenly and say we are cutting off. And we will succeed in that way. But if we keep on believing that we will look for strategy and then be funding and struggling to buy weapons in order to fight and defeat the military of Cameroon government, it is a lie. So, Ambazonia, I am pleading with you. I am pleading with all Ambazonia leaders. Struggle by all possible means to locate all the Ambazonia fighters who are still in the ground fighting. Struggle by all possible means to raise money. Gather people together and take them out of Cameroon. Take them out of Cameroon. Contact the United Nations Organization. Contact human rights organizations like Transparent International, Human Rights Watch, and many other international organizations. Negotiate with them and have a talk with them concerning this issue. Take all Ambazonia fighters out of Cameroon for this thing to end. And then you guys should sit and think of different strategy. Some group of Amazonia are already thinking. First thing is to unite together. First thing, the government of Cameroon to, to who on to assimilation. They who on to divide and rule matter. And that is what they are succeeding. If you look at some kind of hate speech coming from a, 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 a elite in southern Cameroon, you know that uh, this thing can never work. Fighting to win an independence will never work. But if you people withdraw now, sit and think, they will be way out. Because this fight, first of all, it will reach a point where there will be no money to fund, to buy weapons. It will reach a point where the government of Cameroon, they are not doing it because they have succeeded to cover the media concerning the Anglophone crisis and anything happening there remains within Cameroon or within southern Cameroon. And then they, the military now, will be doing a lot of atrocity, a killing, in which they can succeed to kill all Amazonian fighters. It is terrible. And then if you people cannot think of this, Southern Cameroon will never move anywhere. They will keep on dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. I'm begging on all 
Ambazonia leaders listening to this, that you have to look up. Look into the future. Forget about today. Forget about whatsoever people will talk about and focus on a new strategy that all Ambazonia leaders, is Sako, a, 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 a Chris Anu, Ayabacho, and others should join together and form one group. Then go and meet the United Nations, meet other organizations and talk about their strategy to, for ceasefire, where they will take out, that they will not allow their fighter to go to DDR Center, but they want to take their fighter out of Cameroon because their lives in Cameroon is risky. And then they take them to different, different countries. United Nations can help that. Take them out to different, different countries. And then you people sit and think of a new strategy to fight and achieve that independence. To fight and achieve that independence. That is the best way out. Because our people have suffered a lot. They are still suffering. Millions have gone down below poverty lines. More than 200 villages burned down. And southern Cameroon that was vibrant is now begging. And all of them are begging. House is gone. People killed. More than 8,000 people. And we keep on believing that we will be fighting and fighting and fighting. There will be no end for this. I'm pleading with all of you, listening to this, that struggle, struggle by all possible means. We should not keep on suffering ourselves for the enemies to be angry. Thank you very much.